This is Sean Kinney with RCR Wireless News. I'm joined this afternoon by Ram Vaad Rajan. He's the Senior Vice President and GM of New Business Innovation at CA Technologies. So Ram, to start, could you please just give us an idea of what your team is tasked with at CA? Yeah, so, so we are trying to work on uh, new and interesting areas that are of uh, immediate interest to CA and to our customers. So one such area is mobility, for example. So I run uh, the full gamut of mobile solutions at CA, both from a DevOps perspective and from an enterprise management perspective. Okay, very good. And I know before you came to CA, you were the CA, the CEO, pardon me, and the co-founder of Arcot Systems, not to oversimplify, but provide security for Visa transactions. So could you please talk to us a little bit about, in a mobile application economy, how you strike the balance between an accessible and easy to use application and the security that any enterprise needs. Excellent, uh, very good point. Uh, I just uh, finished a presentation on something called zero touch authentication, right? So the what we did at Arcord was, was enable internet scale authentication. That means high convenience and high security at the same time, right? So that requires a, a new blend of technologies. And so within CA, I have continued that innovation over the last uh, four years. Uh, it's been four years since the acquisition. And uh, so one of my other responsibilities inside CA is to provide uh, security for digital payments, if you will. So, uh, so as part of the solution, what we have done is we have looked at all the touch points that users have, uh, let's say in a payment transaction, and also try to figure out what data is available uh, in order to make an influence on the particular transaction. So uh, you heard uh, in the keynotes today about the fact that data is ambient and mobile is everywhere. So right, so we have to, we have to so the, the wireless phenomenon and the data phenomenon need to be leveraged. So we have been able to create uh, models, if you will, that that can uh, capture user behavior, and user shopping experience, user logon experiences, and things like that, and such uh, with such accuracy that we can predict with very very high confidence whether a particular transaction is more or less likely to be from the same user. So in many cases, we can actually allow a transaction to go through without disturbing the user at all for any kind of authentication. Uh, and so that was the zero touch authentication uh, schemes that I described in my presentation. And these can be av available everywhere, even in enterprise use cases, for example. Uh, we, our mobile solutions today are quote unquote smart containers. That means they understand when you are inside a corporate network, uh, what kind of uh, degree of authentication is required for that versus when you might be outside. What kind of emails are sensitive and require special handling versus what uh, are, are insensitive or less sensitive and that can be handled by a normal uh, client on an iPhone or iPad or so on and so forth. So this ability to leverage data and uh, provide context is actually a new age way in which you can do authentication for this app economy. Very good, and you know, I, I think a lot of, of what we've been hearing at CA World this year is, uh, is software as a service, and I think what you're talking about is a lot more than just selling a software package, renewing a license. You're talking about the big data analytics and the management that CA provides. Can you tell us a little bit more about some of these other management functions that CA clients can avail themselves of? Uh, the the I, th I think uh, for us, the big data presents two opportunities for us. It, big data environments need to be managed like any other database environment. So that's, that's a set of, uh, you might soon have job descriptions of big data administrators. Right, so so that's certainly a, a, an area of interest for CA. Uh, we also want to leverage big data uh, techniques in our own products to actually make better products, richer products, uh, more appealing products, and more targeted products to serve customers in newer ways, in ways in combinatorial ways, for example. Uh, and so we are working on all those things as, as various parts of CA 
to actually bring out those solutions, as you heard uh, in the keynotes that Amit said today, for instance. Yes, uh, from Amit's uh, keynote, uh, he also mentioned some of the trending areas as uh, proximity access. Uh, could you tell us uh, in a little more detail uh, what proximity access is and how a customer can leverage that? Absolutely. Uh, the you know so so all of us are familiar with the with the Apple Pay on on, a, on an Apple phone, right? So essentially, you want to take a phone, tap it to some some entity, a receiver and be able to finish a transaction, let's say a payment terminal. So the technology that actually one uses to communicate from the phone to the to a terminal uh, is, is what's called near field communication, NFC. And near field communication can be leveraged for many things. It can be leveraged for you opening a door, it can be leveraged for paying in a, a, at a point of sale, in a, in a, in a shop, for example. Uh, and so on the, on the show floor here, we are actually demonstrating ways in which uh, on Android tel on Android phones, how we could actually do tap and pay, for example. So we are showing prototypes of these uh, things. These are not shipping products, but these are prototypes. And similarly, we are showing proximity things where if you travel with your phone to the door, the door senses your phone and actually opens the door for you. Because there are the phone is you. And the way we make the phone be you is because there are keys and other cryptographic things that actually are proxies for you that reside on the phone. And the management of the security uh, IP that CA provides allows us to keep these things secure and safe and things like that and easy to provision so that they can be the digital representation of you. So you can with great ease now use the phone as an extension of yourself and project your identity wherever you go. Right, and if we could just uh, change gears, I, I know that you established the uh, New Inning Foundation. Yes. Which uh, is spreading cricket to American young people. Yes. Can you tell me just a little bit about what got you interested in that particular philanthropy? Okay, good. Uh, uh, that's a surprise to, to talk about cricket. Uh, so, of course, I've been a cricket fan. Uh, I guess it runs in the family. My son is a cricket fan. My father is a great cricket fan. Uh, the old man has macular degeneration, but but he still is watching every game, you know, from three inches from the television screen. So I must have caught a bug from him. Uh, but you know, cricket is played a lot in America. Most people don't know that. There are thousands of uh, kids playing cricket, mainly immigrant children uh, from cricket-playing nations. Uh, and uh, and I thought the 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 we could raise the game of uh, of cricket in America if we brought the right kind of funding and the right kind of uh, attention to it and professional management and so on and so forth. So I actually uh, contested for the presidency of the United States Cricket Association, which I'm sorry to say that I do not win, but maybe someday I will. Uh, and, uh, and that's a different story. But through that, through that interaction, I actually went across the country, met cricket players all over the country, not only in the Bay Area where I live, and I actually uh, saw that there are small, uh, a, a, a small amount of help can go a long way in actually improving playing conditions or enabling some youngster that wants to play that cannot play today. So, so for the last couple of years, I've been, I've been uh, trying to help out where possible. Uh, so I sponsored several, several I have sponsored a, uh, about 20 awards that actually celebrate success in cricket, the best player, the best young player, the best new player, the best you know woman player, so on and so forth. I also sponsored uh, the televising of the American college cricket uh, a year ago. Uh, so I find these activities that are, that are interesting, which are completely apolitical, uh, no administration, mismatch, so just as a cricket lover. And I also find it's a way to to just like basketball helped uh, several kids, you know, give them a purpose to do things, you know, uh, keep them occupied, teach them team spirit, uh, things like that. I see cricket taught me a lot of things. I can see it's taught my son a lot of things, you know, winning, losing, playing as a team. And I think all those are good American values. And, and I think it is just another, uh, if you will, uh, another uh, uh, canvas on which we can raise uh, American values and inject American values into children. So I'm focused mainly in the US 
on celebrating uh, cricket in, in, a, in a small way. So. Very good, Ramal. I want to thank you so much for your time, and I want to thank you and CA for hosting us here at CA World. Absolutely. Pleasure. And thank you for uh, doing your research. <laughs>